Hi, this is Marco Williams from PlayFab. Um, today I'm going to show off my uh, custom game server. So uh, I've, I've been working on a custom game server that is kind of an out-of-the-box solution. And what you will be able to do with it is um, you'll be able to write in some of your own custom code to, you know, do whatever type of server authoritative logic or do multiplayer games or um, you know pretty much anything that you would do with a with a game server so um, what I've done today is I created a little sample app and uh, what you're seeing on my screen is um, the game manager and the active games that I have running on my server and you'll see here that I have a server running uh, that I uploaded and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a title news, uh, which is like a promotion, and and then um, I I wrote a sample app inside of the game server that pretty much just takes that information and pushes it down to the client. So let's test that out. So I'm going to open up a client. This is my little test client, and that's loading up. So now that one's ready. So I'm going to open a second one and even a third one. So let's let's do three of them. I'm kind of low on screen space here, so you know I'll just leave it right here for now. You can see all three of them are ready, and we'll see here that I have three. Uh, three clients connected and all of those are connected to the same game instance <clears throat> and then so now I'm going to create a title news and I have my custom game server just monitoring every you know 30 seconds or so to see if there's been any new updates or new promotions so I'm going to I already have some things stored in here so new set sale today and I'm gonna put like get 500 gems uh, for free today yeah there we go and so I'm gonna click submit and now I've created my title news here and so you know once the uh, <clears throat> The server detects that change, bam, it pops up to uh, all the clients. And so um, it's a, a, a real simple, you know, example, and um, I'll be able to make the these examples, uh, you know, available as part of the documentation. And uh, thanks for watching.